Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, Episode 7. This is the episode before the mid-season finale, which is next week. And then we've got Crisis the week after. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode was very good. I really did like it. Very Leviathan heavy, very Lena and Kara orientated because we got a massive reveal towards the end of the episode. We'll get to all of that in just a second. So we first start off the episode with a training scene between John and Kara. Nice callback with the cape tricks to Monel and Kara's training back in season three. So that was a nice callback moment to start off the episode with. She hasn't used those in a while. And I love the line, she says, when I feel anxious, I want to punch things. Then she does the move that she does later. Really good. Okay, so then we have the Leviathan lady popping up a lot in this episode. And she faces off against Lena. She tries to get the medallion, but Lena has some futuristic tech that she uses anyway. So she isn't able to be harmed, basically. And this Leviathan lady is revealed to not be in charge of Leviathan as a whole. She's just like a person... I think she's called Margot or something, who just, you know, is a part of their organization, but she's not, like, super high up. And so, we have the introduction of Rama Khan and another Leviathan lady, I don't remember her name, but she seems to be pretty damn powerful, and so it's revealed in this episode that Leviathan, like a lot of us sort of theorized about, is actually some sort of ancient organization who have been around for eons, as they say. They've been around since the dinosaurs, which is a really fucking long time ago. And so they've been around, they've been operating. Rama Khan is this ancient, like, earthbending type dude. I love how they mentioned earthbending in this episode. That was really funny, really great. Love that mention. And so we'll get back to Rama Khan in a minute. But anyway, so Jean, this episode, he has a connection. He has a feeling that Malafeu is still around. At the end of the episode, he finds out where he is. He obviously knows it's Lena's place, and this is through the help of his dad. So, obviously, he's found out that Lena has captured him, but at the same time, Kara found out that Lena had betrayed her, so it all sort of works out that they found each other at the right time, at the exact same time, really. And so, yeah, the Leviathan organization is obviously very transparent now. We know where their headquarters is. We sort of know what they're doing. They're trying to preserve the planet, essentially, and, you know, melt it in their different way, or, like, meld it, I guess. So that's what their plan is for this season, and I'm guessing they're definitely going to stick around. You're going to have some other foes working for them, and they're going to be up to their own tricks, you know, as we head towards the back half of the season. So, also, we have Supergirl and Lena in this episode. It was a massive part of the episode. So, at the start, Supergirl saves Lena. Lena is still actually manipulating her for most of the episode. This is when we have Rama Khan first appearing, like, trying to attack Lena, and then Supergirl saves her. And then there was this one mention of selfie culture from Brainy when he was doing one of his explanations. I was like, yeah, I cringed at that bit, but whatever. Anyway, let's move on from that. So, L Lena still manipulates Kara, and she finds out that, essentially, she must find the fortress. She knows it exists, and she knows there are weapons there that she can use, so that's sort of her goal for this episode, you know, to let her be saved by Supergirl, and then you have all this stuff going down, then how do we defeat Rama Khan? Oh, we go to the fortress so she can get her weapon, so Lena is very sneaky in this episode. And so let's move on, we'll talk about Lena in a sec with the big reveal scene, but we have Malefic across town, we have Lena and Supergirl, they finally go to the fortress, and then we have the Lufa protocols, and obviously she's like, oh, it doesn't matter, I understand you. Still minute plays in Kara, and she mentions you're an excellent actress, and that was a sick burn. I literally laughed out loud, that bit got me cackling, I really enjoyed that, that was a good line. Um, so we have the Leviathan guy being revealed, he's from a sister planet of Krypton, so he's an alien, he's able to survive for such a long time, I'm not sure how he can actually survive that long, but whatever, you know, he's some sort of different type of alien who is stronger than a Kryptonian in one sense, and he's like an earthbender. And so whilst in the Fortress of Solitude, we see Lena click a button or click some buttons, 
she's trying to notify Brainy, but she doesn't actually do that. She actually changes and manipulates the Luther protocol to trap Kara, essentially. It all goes green, so you can therefore tell it's Kryptonite. And so that's what Lena does. She gets a mention of Myriad, there's a Myriad machine, and that very much so does catch Lena's eyes. And so Supergirl mentions Astra again and everyone like that. And so it was obviously a nice nostalgic moment to look back on the show's past because you have so many of these machines that have been used in the past and this specific one catches Lena's eyes because you know that's sort of similar to the idea of what her project she's working on is she wants to essentially control people kind of like what Myriad was so that would really work for her okay so then we have some big reveal scenes and the big reveal scene is with Lena being exposed. She is caught taking the Myriad device and Supergirl's like, what are you doing? And she reveals all and I was like, holy shit, this is going down. They both start breaking down. They both start crying. I mean, Lena's a proper villain. I'm, I'm telling you that even though she's like, oh, you shouldn't have treated me like a villain. I'm pretty damn sure you're a villain if you're stealing the Myriad stuff and you're manipulating Kara. I know it is for like a and not, not a good reason, but like a reason, like a personal reason, because, you know, she did something similar to her where she lied and didn't tell her, but still, very villainous. You literally entrap Supergirl in a protocol that you've twisted with kryptonite. So, yeah, by the end of the episode, Supergirl's still stuck in that, and she is crying, she is sobbing, and this whole scene was very sort of heartbreaking. You really feel for Kara, and you sort of have this hatred for Lena, although, you know, that's the reason of the story, so that's nothing going against Lena. But Lena betrays Supergirl, and she steals the Myriad device, and so she essentially breaks Kara's heart, really. And so Kara is captured in the fortress, and she is entrapped with kryptonite so she's actually hurting her so yeah very villainous and a really great scene really enjoyed that but okay so let's move on or move back instead and actually go to brainy so brainy sees flashes of rama khan and leviathan by finding like sort of matching up the symbols and you find the symbol of leviathan very similar to the medallion i'm pretty sure that lena has so that's how they find Leviathan's headquarters, so Alex and also Brainy, they both go there and they are essentially seen by Leviathan. So that's all going on while Supergirl is with Lena and they're fighting Rama Khan, so Supergirl fights Rama Khan, he's defeated, I don't know if he's going to return or not, but it kind of looked like he was poofed into dust, so I guess we'll have to wait and see, but anyway, so some entertaining stuff towards the end of the episode, I thought that the Alex and Kelly scene was really great at the end, at first I was like, are they breaking up, which obviously by the end didn't turn out to be that way, so that is about it, so we have all this genre malefic stuff, so they have a final confrontation, this is probably one of the last bits of the episode, so they are together, Jean confronts him because, you know, his dad has revealed, oh, Malefic's still around, and they sort of come to terms with each other in their own different ways. So that was at Lena's place, and obviously next episode, we're going to deal with the ramifications of Lena stealing the Myriad device. They're obviously going to be going after Lena, it seems like, and I think they might find out about what she's done to Eve very soon. I think that's a possibility. Also, you have Jean with knowing she's took Malefic, so they're gonna be after her, like, for sure, unless they go really soft on her. Also, Supergirl ends the episode, and she's still trapped crying in the Fortress of Solitude, so someone's gonna have to help her. I'm not sure how she's gonna get help, but we'll have to wait and see next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any videos as we head towards 100,000 subscribers. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.